hide and if you want, you <laughs> I don't know how we're going to have this seeds in, but yeah. And hello guys, welcome back to the channel. My name is Crossroads and today we are watching the Halloween 1978. The original Halloween movie, of course. Last week I did Scream, so you can find that here on the tab above me or on the channel anyway. But yeah, let's go now straight to the reaction. Here we go. Already with the music. Halloween night, 1963. Ooh, spooky, dark, no sound, no music. Something is going to happen. We are alone, aren't we? Michael's around someplace. Michael? Who is this Michael guy? Okay, so this is supposed to be first person view, I guess. Okay, now we can sneak in. Oh, the back door is open. It's a spooky theme. Oh, the murderer. Oh, the guy did not see this guy. <laughs> nice. I love how he put the mask on. God damn. Do we have to blur this? Maybe. I don't know. Michael! Michael just went to... I think we have to <laughs> blur this, but... Michael? Oh, but Michael's a kid. He murdered his sister, I guess? October 30th, 1978. So one day before Halloween. Illinois State Hospital. Okay. You haven't anything to worry about. He hasn't spoken a word in 15 years. Don't you think we could refer to it as him? If you say so. Since when did they let them wander around? Pull up to the main gate. Go on, move. Oh, they have escaped? Wait. There's nobody there. Oh, is this Michael? No, he cracks the whole window. And he drives away? He's gone. So that was Michael probably then. So I guess this Michael guy just escaped. Halloween. Yeah, the time is Halloween, so it's one day later. The Myers house. The Myers house? Yeah, the Myers house. That's one cursed house probably, but yeah. You're not supposed to go up there. Yes, I am. Ex-spook house. Ex-spook house, yeah. You're just going to the house of Michael Myers. <laughs> Wait, this is... Oh, yeah, this is Michael's view. I gotta go. See you tonight. Bye. So Michael is triggered by this woman shopping key to his house. I'm not sure what's the psychology side in this. He's just oh, mentally ill guy, I guess. Strong Haddonfield is 150 miles away from here. He can't drive a car. He was doing very well last night. They don't believe he got to Haddonfield. Oh, he's seeing Michael stalking her. No, he's not there anymore. The car is gone. No, they're scaring this guy. Now he falls and... Oh. Oh, it is the boogeyman. The boogeyman. Is he going to kidnap the boy or is he just talking? And now the danger is over, so the music goes. Is Michael kill already somebody or... Oh, yeah, he had the mechanic uniform type of thing on. No, oh, he didn't find the body though. Yeah, so that's where he got the uniform, what he's wearing. I still don't know where he got the mask. Maybe that will get explained also. Oh, he heard. He continues. I always like the music going away when Michael is not around, so you fall in that false sense, you know, that there's no danger here. So Michael is probably some point he's just gonna pop up. Hey, look. Look where? You drove by so fast that when you yelled at. Subtle, isn't he? Hey, creep. Nobody here. Standing right there. Now you're seeing men behind bushes. Bye. Bye. He's gonna have to make a run for it. Yeah, double switch. <laughs> I'm sorry, Mr. Brackett. Oh, I didn't mean to startle you. You know, it's Halloween. I guess everyone's entitled to one good scare, huh? <laughs> nice seeing you, sir. Yeah, it's a Halloween. I thought you outgrew superstition. Oh, you outgrew superstition. Yeah, but Michael's around. Mm. Hello? Why'd you hang up on me? Annie? Was that you? I wanted to say anything. You scared me to death. I had my mouth full. Couldn't you hear me? Listen, my mother's letting me use her car. I'll pick you up. 6.30. Okay. And I'm sorry for referencing Scream so freaky many times here, but I just watched it, so that's why. What happened? Somebody broke into the hardware store, probably kids. You blame everything on kids. All they took was some Halloween masks, rope, and a couple of knives. Who do you think it was? So Michael got his stuff from the store. Dr. Sam Loomis, I'd like to have a word with you. It is important. He's gonna miss Michael by that much. <laughs> They've been driving a long time. It's already dark. Oh, they already probably spent the evening and now they're splitting up. She did not see Michael pass. 
Oh, she went to babysit? Okay. I don't understand why Michael is targeting him, but he is anyway. Does anybody live here? Not since 1963 when it happened. Every kid in Haddonfield thinks this place is haunted. They may be right. So now the police are also alerted for Michael's presence. He could have seen inside. What the hell? You must think me a very sinister doctor. <laughs> Seems to me you're just playing scared. Yes, I met him 15 years ago. Six-year-old child with this blank, emotionless face and the devil's eyes. I realized that what was living behind that boy's eyes was purely and simply evil. Okay, so that's the motive of the I doctor. I made a mess of myself. I gotta call you back. Oh, yeah! Okay, so Michael's going in. No. Oh, Michael, what are you doing? What about the boogeyman? Richie said he was coming after me tonight. I mean, Halloween night, it's when people play tricks on each other. I think Richie was just trying to scare you. I saw the boogeyman. There was nobody outside. There was. The boogeyman can only come out on Halloween night, right? While I'm here tonight, I'm not about to let anything happen to you. Promise? Promise. Promise. Ooh. Oh, she's going to do laundry. Door closed. Michael. Hello? Yeah. Who's there? Paul, is this one of your cheap tricks? And a double switch. No. Okay. Now, time for the switch. Oh. Well, we can see Michael there in the background. Hi, Lindsay. This is Paul. Is Annie there? She's washing her clothes. Look, just tell her it's me, okay? Okay. Now she goes. Does she get saved because it's Lindsay, kid? You locked yourself in. I know. Well, but Michael is in, is in the house probably now because they left the door open. Oh, hi, Paul. My parents are gone. Oh, that's fabulous. Huh. When did they leave? About half uh, I love the airiness of Michael being there and not what? being there and... Come on, get your coat. We're going to pick up Paul. Ooh, that was close. But I don't understand Michael's focus shift. First, she was talking the... First, this blonde girl and that now this brown-haired girl. I have no idea what the fucking names are, but... Her, I'll consider talking to Ben Tramer in the morning. Deal. Bye. Bye. I give you all no keys. We're gonna have a Michael any second now. I feel it. No? It was open already. Yeah. She did. No, she did. Michael found the knife. Where are you? Oh, but he sees. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Tommy, stop it. Now, there's nobody out there. Why doesn't he describe the boogeyman so she will get hella scared and call the police? I'm not afraid. Then go in. Oh, no. But Michael's not back yet. Get your ass away from there. <laughs> <laughs> Doctor, do you know what Haddonfield is? Families, all lined up in rows, up and down these streets. You're telling me they're lined up for a slaughterhouse? They could be. All right, I'll stay with you tonight. At least the police officer in this one is not like bullshit. We don't care. Oh, they're going inside? Bob, put me down! Similar scene, just carrying in. Yeah, it's totally dark. Yeah. Now they're gonna get hunted by Michael or... <laughs> Michael's in there. Probably standing in the door frame. Yep. Probably stopped off someplace. Have a good time. We definitely will. Hmm. Bye. Lindsay is gone for the night. That's wonderful. <laughs> we haven't had Michael for a while, which is now creating the false sense of security. <sighs> yep, and here we go. Michael's in the room. Mm. Go get me a beer. I'll be right back. Didn't Michael walk into the room? <laughs> oh, goddamn. What is happening? I'm expecting Michael to come in anytime. Hmm. Come on out. Whirr, and Michael attacks. <laughs> yeah. Well, well, Michael is strong. What the fuck? Oh, he's dead. He's so dead. How is he stuck to the wall? Did he stab through him or... I guess. Well, did you get my beer? That's my call. <laughs> See anything you like? No, because it's censored. Okay, don't answer me. Well, I'm going to call Lori. I want to know where Paul and Annie are. Uh. Hello? Hello? All right, Annie. Squeeze. <laughs> I don't know how we're going to have these scenes in, but yeah. I'll kill you if this is a joke. Annie! First close sort of Michael. So now the guy realized the car is there. Interesting. I mean, I love it so simple. There's like three themes in this one. Really gives the airiness, the spookiness that it needs. 
I also love that it's so old movie that there's no modern aspects to it, so it's somehow more realistic. In my mind, it gets me really into the movie. Hmm, the guy's on the wall, isn't he? He stepped to the cabinet on the left. Or did Michael move him? It's gonna be the same jump scare? No, nothing. Oh, huh. the evidence of false sense. Okay. She gonna find the bodies? There's a door on her left. Oh god, he's at the door, isn't he? <laughs> jump scare. How did the door open itself? Okay, but where is Michael? There's like a dark door opening. Yeah, oh, we can see Michael now. Why isn't the door open? Is a rake outside blocking the door? Oh, he's breaking the door. Oh, millisecond before. Oh, nobody believes her? The Michael is coming. No, Tommy didn't see the boogeyman. And the window is open behind her, so Michael's in already. Oh. Oh, he got knocked out. Bam. I found the car. He's here. Tommy, Lindsay, babies. But Michael's not dead. I'm scared. There's nothing to be scared of. Somebody's coming up the stairs. Killed him. He's behind you. <laughs> you can't kill the boogeyman. He's behind you. Stop making noise. Michael can hear you. Oh, now she stabbed him? But Michael's not dead. Now the false sense and the jump scare I was talking earlier. No. Don't drop the knife. Are you fucking stupid? Michael's gonna uh, undertake her. Sit up and take the knife. I'm gonna chase you. Come here. I want you to go down the street to the Mackenzie's house. Tell them to call the police. Okay, now we're gonna sit up. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You better run. Ooh, close calls. Oh, the guy's gonna come for us. <laughs> but he's not there anymore. Yeah. Is the movie gonna end here? Yeah. Halloween. Ladies and gentlemen. God damn! That was the movie, guys. Great one. After I watched Scream, so my might be there there was they were talking about this movie also in that movie, so a bit uh, the bit spoiler on the one guy's kill that he killed him because that's what they show you in Scream. Uh, they're, they're watching the movie or something. I don't know. But I I really like this uh, Stalker movie theme. I mean, I'm just comparing everything to Scream now because you can find the movie reaction here if you want to go watch that. Because I'm comparing that. But that's a slasher movie and I'm not really a fan of that type of genre. It's not in like horror movies. It's not really my thing. But like this, like stalker type of movie, like, I don't know, we really didn't get any ex explanation for Michael Myers. Why is he this like evil character? I mean, we just tell he kills her sister when he's really young and the doctor is like, he sees the evil in his eyes and he's pure evil, basically. But it's something to do with only the Halloween also. And the movie ends here probably because because Halloween ends, I guess it's something to drive Michael to do it. Psychologically, maybe it's just a trigger for him to, you know, go kill Spree. I don't know. Uh, I know there's a million sequels for the movie, second, third, and then there's the new Halloween ends coming, like, did it come out already? Or does it come in a few weeks? I don't know, to the movie theaters. So, of course, Michael lives, so maybe now he gets some personal anger towards this Laurie character or this uh, police, you know, hospital, I mean, doctor dude who shot him to force him to back off, maybe? Something like this is probably. Also, like I tried to tell maybe in the bit middle of the movie, I don't know if that's whole cut out or something, but maybe if it's in, you probably know what I'm talking about. I like, I really like this, like, cause it's, this movie is from like 79 or 78 or like, it's already like nearly, fi what, 40, 50 year old movie. And like modern movies are always like, it's a internet or the stalker is using cameras and turning lights off. And then he approaches personally 
you know, something like this, basically. And I just hate it so bad. I mean, it's it has this vibe, of course, and of course, but I love this original type of like original is a term for old. I guess I'm using here, just like old generic uh, horror movies or with the st stalker or stalking horror thing. And there's no not not much really story here except as Michael get out and then she he's stalking. Well, it's just, well, exactly, it's a stalker movie just completely about him stalking mm, compared to other horror movies which have might have you know uh falls maybe killers we're trying to figure out who's the killer and maybe they have different motives and then there's some different psychology you know switches and people are scared or they're not scared of the hunt killer man and going after the guy somebody and somebody's like oh no we should run not, not like this there's only this lorry guy and then just the kids who maybe have some role in the sequels i guess i don't know maybe it's not really a good idea to do two movie reactions back to back it's gonna take you like five hours just to record this uh so it gets me a bit and also like i said after scream i haven't really done these these the, like horror genre reaction things i have done a bunch of star wars marvel some animes with nuf b on the channel if you want to see any of those go check the channel but i watched basically every horror movie f when i was younger so that's like 10 years ago basically everything that came out you know that time and what was you know popular but i've probably seen them only once or something so i i can just go for it with a fresh look and talk about it if you want to see any any movies uh for me to react please comment down below i will happy to be doing those reactions. I will be happy also to have a conversation about this movie in the comments because I really get no ideas what to say anymore <laughs> after this. I know it's a not good habit of, you know, for reaction people just, you know, not really give, well, the reaction during the movies, of course you see that, but not giving my thoughts, you know, really widely or review. I mean, it's a decent, decent movie. I think I maybe liked uh, Scream more than this, so I don't know. We have no scoring system in the channel yet, so... Or anything. Maybe we do someday, someday later, or maybe I do tier lists, like which movie is better than which one. But yeah, I think we'll end the reaction here, because I have no, no idea what to talk about anymore. So please consider subscribing if you liked, and we will see you in the next one. So until then, goodbye. <laughs>